for Ancient History Jewelry Stories. Today I want to talk about one of the oldest known gemstones, and something that's been in continuous use for over 5,000 years, which also happens to be January's birthstone. It's the garnet. Every time I post a picture of a piece of jewelry with a garnet in it, I invariably have tons of people telling me that it's their favorite gemstone. I happen to love them too. And antique garnets are some of the first pieces of fine jewelry that I started collecting for myself. The earliest references to garnet and jewelry can be traced back as far as 3100 BC in ancient Egypt, while the earliest known remnants of garnet jewelry date back to the Bronze Age. Almondine garnet, which is the form of garnet that we're most familiar with, is also the oldest known form of garnet. Garnet used to be known by the entirely unsexy name of carbuncle, which also means a boil. The word comes from the Latin word garnatus, which means seed-like, because it resembles the seeds of pomegranates although garnet does come in every color, uh, but blue is very rare. During the Middle Ages, garnet was believed to be a cure for the Black Plague, which might tie into that unsexy name carbuncle. Here are three stellar examples of ancient garnet jewelry. First is this amazing earring from ancient Greece dating back to the 4th or 3rd century BC. As you can see, the garnet is cut in the shape of beads. A lot of the oldest garnet jewelry is going to be in the shape of beads. Second is this phenomenal pectoral. This is attributed to the ancient Egyptian princess Sit Hathor Yunet. Last one is this fantastic snake ring. This is ancient Egyptian, but from the late Roman period, so this dates to the first century BC. Tomorrow I'll show you some of my favorite garnet pieces in my collection, including a hot pink Perpignan garnet ring from around 1830.